Mr. Carroll, you are here to prove to your ex-girlfriend, Ms. Goggins, that you are the biological father of her 26-year-old daughter, Sherletha Carroll. Yes, Your Honor. You say when your daughter was five years old, the defendant told you another man was her father, but you refused to believe it. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Goggins, you claim that you had a one-night stand and he is your daughter's real father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Carroll, what will these results mean for you today? Oh, it mean an awful lot because it's been many years that don't went... went... <sighs> I understand, sir. Take your time. And I know I love Lee. He always tries to embed it in her that she's my daughter. Can't nobody tell me otherwise. This is my daughter. And it's been... And so, all of these years, you never had doubt. No, and I never, I, and, I, and truthfully, I, I've never been emotional like this either. So it, it really means a lot for me to find out now that Lily is my daughter. Because in my heart, I know she's mine. I know she's my daughter. I always told her she's my daughter. So, Ms. Goggins, you say you had a one-night stand, and you're so sure that this one-night stand is your daughter's father. Why are you so certain? With Jesse, we were basically broken up, and then I end up going to her father saying that I needed someone to talk to, so me and him end up having sex, and I knew that it was the one night stand, the hairdresser, and he said that I told him five years later, which it wasn't five years later, because when I was pregnant with her, I mentioned to him that I th I'm pregnant by the hairdresser. I'm, I'm not having your baby. So you say you said it from the beginning? I said it from the beginning. Mr. Carroll... When do you remember <laughs> hearing this for the first time? Uh, she never told me that. I tell you for a fact, she never told me that. Yes, for, I did. The, the, she never told yes, me that. Yes, I did. I <laughs> told, told you that, that I, I am <laughs> pregnant by someone else and you didn't want it to believe it. Maybe it hurted you because I had sex with someone else, but I also, I've told you that I was not pregnant by you. She never told me that. Never. Yes, I did. Never did she tell me that because... So I want to know... Your recollection. Right. Give, me, your, me. give me, give me the first time you remember hearing that Shalithia may not be your child. First of all, me and me and uh, Tina at that time was still in a relationship. It was just shaky. Lily was five years old, and she came over my mother's house, and she told me that she had something to tell me. And she told Lily would go off. She five, so she's trying to go off of whatever. She's like, no, Lily, I want Lily to hear this. You know, when she told me Lily was my, not my daughter, Lily was standing right there because I will never forget That's the face that true. she had. The expression That's on her not face true. When she said, "That's that. not true." I I've been told that's the, not true. What you I'm say? sorry. What did I you never say, Julie? What front did you say, with Shirley? You saying she's not your daughter. Well, I do recall we went over there one day, and it was a discussion about me not being his daughter, and you know, in the, front of you. Yes, ma'am. Right, right there. What, what did I say, Lily? What do you remember hearing? I mean, I just recall that. It was just arguments, Argu arguing, arguing. Like, what do you remember me saying to you at the end? When it's all said and done, what did I say? I mean, he always has stated to me that he's my dad. That's so, right. You know, I don't deny said. that. He, al he always did say that. I'm not denying that. And it wasn't five years later that you found out that Shalitha was yours. When you came in the delivery room with me, you seen her and you said, wow, whose baby is this? She's so white. I knew from there that... Uh, who Shalitha belonged to. No. After I left the hospital with Shalitha, I See, said, Shalitha is not your child. You, you never wanted to listen to me saying that it wasn't your child. Who's and on the birth certificate? He signed the, I received the birth certificate. I seen Jesse's name. I did not never sign the bottom to agree with what was on the birth certificate. So when it came you to have the birth certificate? I, I see. Let me see that. I have a birth certificate, too. Your I have name a birth certificate is on. Right So you're saying, Miss Goggins, when you were in the hospital after having Shalitha, you didn't say to him, uh, Mr. Carroll, you need to sign this birth certificate, no. or are you going... No. You didn't even talk about it. You, you weren't going to ask the baby. I wasn't thinking about none of that. So when that birth certificate came, I seen Jesse's name on it. I never signed the bottom, so I'm like, I don't know why his name on there. I didn't put it on there. So, so, Mr. Carroll, you're, you signed this birth certificate right. because when you're in the hospital, you don't have any doubt. None. And every so, she... during the time when Shalitha was conceived, you don't remember there being an instant where... Did, she, did you know she had had the one-night stand? 
Oh, yeah. Now, she did tell me that she had had an affair with the, with the hairdresser down in our relationship, but five oh, years... Oh, I told you I was five, pregnant by the no, hairdresser. No, no, never did you tell yes, me that. Yes, I did. She never I told, told you way ahead of time, I'm pregnant by the hairdresser. This is not <coughs> your baby I'm carrying. Okay, listen. You don't know what you're talking about. I always told you I'm not carrying your baby. I told you that before I you, had her. Listen, she so, never, hold on now. <laughs> Mr. Carroll, were you just not wanting to hear this? Well, I mean... Or were you... No, because, it, like I said, everything that she's saying, Farris, what she's saying to me now, never was like That's that. She was my true. girlfriend. It was like a said, denial because he couldn't believe that little Tina had another baby by somebody else. She never said that. I always thought Lily was mine from my heart to the day. I love Lily. She's my daughter. That's why I'm here today to show people that, that Lily is She mine. doesn't look like and, you. And, she looks and, just and like her that, dad. Look, she got my name on that birth certificate. That's my name. She got my name. You put I it on there Lili, without my consent. I gave Lily that name, Lily. That, that nickname, I done that. Lily was my daughter. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Lily was my daughter. That's my nickname. That Shalitha is my family. That's her name from my family. But it didn't come you know from you. It it's my people in my family, though. No, it's not. It don't my matter family. whose my family it came from. Shalitha no. and then, came well, like from... Like I said, that's my daughter. So, wait, let me understand this. So, after she, after that, after she was born, in the early parts of her life, <clears throat> you were there yeah. as her father. I was there. You were just I was there, there, too, but because you did there. not provide, so you just was there. I was there. So well, you, that, I was That's there all you was, there. I was there. She was my daughter. She was around me. I, was, I did a lot of... I was come from the street life, so a lot of times I wasn't like I should have been. I'm here for Lily as her father, and if she ever need anything from me, if I could provide it for her, she can get it. Okay, but you yeah. was there. You said that being a daddy takes more than saying I'm a daddy. So, so you have to my, provide from all the bottom so of my maternity. Heart, from the bottom of my heart, like I said, this happened so, years ago. Ms. Goggins, it's, are you saying that he? Are provide, you saying that so. he's not the father because he hasn't stepped up as a father because he hasn't provided, or are you saying that he's not the father because he's really not the biological father he's, in your mind? He's not the father of my child right here. The hairdresser is, and I always told her that. You did. So I want to hear from Sherlethia. You have heard a lot of discussion thus far, Sherlethia, and I know it's probably difficult to hear, but I want to understand what your thoughts were growing up. Were you always told by your mom that Mr. Carroll was not your biological father and this other gentleman was? Your Honor, yes, I have, but... To be honest, Jesse hasn't been in my life. You know, I'm just going off of pictures. You know, basically, pictures, he was there. He was with me as the father, with me and my sister. He was in the home as a, as a family. But as time went on, I was with the other guy, which I have proof right here. I was with his family. I, you do? Let me see that proof you have. I was with his family. I went, was over there through holidays, everything. And this other gentleman, you were with this man and his family through holidays and family functions, and you were... I mean, yes, basically, I used to live You there. believed he was your biological father? Yes. And, Your Honor, if I could say, too, that with Lily, when, like I said, when this incident happened, when she was five years old, when she announced that to me, and Lily was right there in, her, in my face when she had said that, after saw that, Lily, she brought Lily up in that man's side. You see, so Lily didn't spend as much time no, with, with my family because she had in her head and her mind that that wasn't my baby. So Lily was, was, was going, to, that's why she had her this Christmases or whatever she was doing with them people. All right, you but know? do you understand that throughout her life, I'm looking at pictures now mm -hmm. of Sherlethia when she was a little girl. This is a lot of pictures. I was with the other guy's family. I went there for holidays, you know. Basically, in middle school, that's, like I say, I got the birth certificate and Jesse was on it, so I don't know. And so you found a, the birth certificate and saw that Mr. Carroll's name was on your birth certificate. Yes. And yet you have got all these family photos where you spent time with this other guy that you thought was your biological father. Yes, I was there. Did you the ask a question? Like, wh wh why does my birth certificate have Mr. Carroll on it? 
Um, yes, I, I did. I asked, I asked my mom once I got the birth certificate and seen that he was on there, I asked her and basically she said, ask, my, ask the other guy. She told me, ask the other guy why, he, why he's not on there. You know, and... Did you ever ask him? No, I never asked him. I never asked him why he wasn't on my birth certificate because I was young. I was there, you know, I was there as him being my dad, I was with his family. I used to live there as in middle school. I you went did. to school from there, you know? And yeah. basically, I'm just yeah. going off what my mom said. But, you know, it yeah. always was thrown in my face. You know, he would be... Um, Jesse, when he came to the graduation, I was there. Quintina came along. She would always stay. that's not your daughter. I don't know why you doing all this and that. You know, she ain't your daughter, so... Why are you claiming her? Now, see, and through all that that Lily going through and what she's talking about, Your Honor, all that she's talking about, I always still embedded in Lily that I'm her daddy, regardless. See, so I was always there, even though she went through and what she's going through or whatever, it was with her mother, totally. So she would, I would see Lily uh, 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 sometime. Mr. Carroll, I'd like to hear from your witness. Ma'am, would you please stand? State your name, ma'am. Quintina Carroll. Miss Carroll, you are Mr. Carroll's wife? wife? Okay. What do you know about this situation? Have you always had the understanding that you had a stepdaughter, your, your husband had a daughter? Or did you have doubt as to whether or not Shalithia was really his biological child? Your Honor, Shalithia is not his daughter. Tina told him, Ms. Goggins told him, she told him years ago that she was not his daughter. And the only way I would know, because I came into the situation after the five-year period, somewhere in there, which was, I never would say anything like that to Shalithia. But Why? She because I have she my own children. She I'm did. the one brought us here today because I think she should know. Oh. I said, let's do this, because I'm tired of the conflict. I mean, well, and then... Her mother says it's she's told like her that. that all the time. I found a letter that she wrote to my husband and said, thank you for accepting our daughters. But, you, but she says she constantly told him that... So that you're saying you saw a letter that Ms. Goggins wrote to your husband, Mr. Carroll, saying, thank you for accepting our daughters. Daughters, with an S. And this was in, our, in, our, in the midst of our dating. We attended graduation. So I approached Miss Goggins and said, is Lily his daughter? She said, no. And everyone was present. So she well, said it out loud to everyone in the family yes. at the graduation? Yes. Shalita, she, is there something you wanted that. to add to this? Well, Your Honor, I just want... I mean, to be honest, I just want to know the truth. I don't want to be like an outcast, no black sheep, none of that. I just want to know the truth. Who is my father? And... <laughs> and I want her to know that, Your Honor. That's why I tried to get us here, and I'm glad that everyone was willing to participate because I have children. She, grew, she knew my children. Right. So when you say you don't want to be the black sheep, Shalithia, why, why do you say that? Because I don't know. I, basically, Quintina, his wife, always said I wasn't his daughter. It's so she didn't want... Your mother said it. She all, it. Going off of Quintina, she always says, that ain't your daughter. Why you giving her recognition? Why you, why you doing this? Why you doing that? Right, she good. don't even know me, you know? So the point is, is you, you feel that <laughs> disconnect now. that Correct. she's talking about. Correct. All right. Well, I we have you. the answers for you. It's time for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Carol versus Goggins, when it comes to 26-year-old Sherlitha Carroll, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Carroll, you are her father. Oh, my God! I love you! I love you! I love you, baby! 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 I
I told you, I'm trying it too. Oh my God, I told you, bro. I told you, you tell the truth. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Lily, I'm so sorry. This is wonderful. This is what we've been waiting on. Wow, finally got it over. My daughter, baby. You are my daughter. That's your daddy, girl. Yeah. Yes. How's it feel, honey? Man. This is crazy. I'm hurt. It's relief that he is your father. And you don't have to hear nobody else say nothing <laughs> negative. Me included. <laughs> you still believe Mr. Jackson is your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. But Miss Jones, you've been saying that Mr. Downing is her biological father, not Mr. Jackson. I believe Mr. Diner is. So I mean, the bottom the line is... The Mr. Jackson can be, but I, in my heart... So the bottom line is, you trust the result that was received, mm -hmm. and Brittany, you say you don't. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Well, this court has retested Mr. Jackson, and uh, we actually have the results from Mr. Jackson, and I'd like to get them now. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Downing versus Jones, when it comes to 29-year-old Brittany Starks, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson is not the father. He is not your biological father, Brittany. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mr. Downing, after I've read those results, how do you feel now? I, um, I feel that um, we some closure. I feel closure. But if I am the father, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm willing and ready to step up and uh, be, be more active in her life. Well, I wish it was that simple. But the court has actually identified yet another possible father. Wow. He's going to join us today from his hometown, Mr. Aiken. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us today. Mr. Aiken? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe you are Brittany's biological father? Yes, ma'am. I do believe I'm Brittany's biological father. Wow. You do? Tell the court why. I, I got tears right now because of what happened with Joe, and um, I, I feel sorry for Brittany, but I love you, Brittany. But anyway, that uh, she came down and visited my mom. She met my other kids, and she resembled uh, 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 everything. I mean, she is, she is me. Tell me the nature of the relationship you had with Miss Jones. Brittany's mom. What was the nature of your relationship? It was a high school thing. You know, back then it was, it was, you know, it was one of those things when you just meet somebody, you like them, and, you know, experimental as we was younger, you know, and it was one of those things that happened, and, and I guess this is the results. At what point did you find out that you potentially could be Brittany's biological father? Three years ago. Wow. Three years ago? Um, she met my mom. She came to the house for a Christmas dinner and everything, and she met my whole mother side of my family, and they accepted her like it was original, like it was just go together, no problem. Brittany? Yes, Your Honor. Just three years ago, you meet Mr. Aiken? Yes, Your Honor. And he says he's overjoyed when he meets you? Yes, Your Honor. And you went to his family's Christmas dinner? Yes, Your Honor. How did you feel in that moment? I was, when I first found out about Mr. Aiken, I was hurt. I was devastated because of the fact that I had already established a relationship with Mr. Jackson. We've been talking on the phone off and on um, quite a bit of time, and I did go down there to meet his family, but it, I always felt like he's not my dad. Really? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Aiken, you feel like you are her biological father, and Brittany, you feel like he is not. Yes, Your Honor. So, oh, Mr. Downing, mm. when did you first hear about Mr. Aiken? Last week. <laughs> In a phone conversation with Ms. Jones, we were talking. 
she told me that, well, there may be a third person that, you know, could possibly be her father. And I'm like, wow, third guy? And I'm highly upset about the whole situation because, like she said, it didn't have to go this far. You know, she could have been honest in the beginning and said, hey, look, I don't know who the dad is, but let's, let's all get together and let's, let's figure this thing out for Britney's sake. I come from a close-knit family. And if that's my daughter, she would have been loved and, and taken in by my family. So for her to, to go around and, and say certain things that, um, to my family saying that, that, that Britney's my daughter, I, I never agreed with that. I didn't. Because if, if I felt that way, I have two other daughters. You know, I have a six-year-old daughter and I have a 23-year-old daughter. They both look just like me. And I'm not saying it's not a possibility that Britney could be my daughter. But b because of all the circumstances surrounding how Britney was conceived with, you know, we know a third guy. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't have doubts? You didn't know it then it was a third guy. So you had doubts when you thought it was just you. So I you did. didn't know it then? I did. I had doubts because... But, Ms. Jones, you had, had, had doubts, me I had and doubts another girl pregnant at the same because, time. So what are you talking because, about? I had doubts because... You and I were not sexually active the way you try to uh, describe it. Yes, we today. were. No, we were yes, not. Yes, we was. Yes, we, we, we was. We were not. But, Ms. Jones, the truth is, I mean, and that's at the end of the day what we're here to get down to the bottom of. The truth is, is his doubts have been substantiated. There were two more potential biological fathers in addition to him. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did you tell Mr. Aiken that he was a possible no, biological I never, father? Um, he was. He sent me a friend request on Facebook. So when he starts going through my pictures and he saw Brittany, he just was like, he felt like Brittany was really his child. You know, some I had I had a child and he didn't know nothing about it. But the truth is, this is a consequence of decade-long paternity secrets and issues. Mm -hmm. Is because when he challenged you and said, I think this could be my daughter, you honestly are saying, well, I can't say for certain 30 years ago whether he is or isn't. So, Mr. Aiken, when yes, you saw Britney's pictures on Ms. Jones's social media page, you told her, I think that could be my daughter. I knew that was my daughter. I ain't had to think, you know what I'm saying? Because it's her and my other daughters, and they all from different moms. All have the same features and look just like each other. And Brittany, I can see you have tears in your eyes. What are you feeling in this moment? I know this, and we're just trying to get down to the bottom of this for you, sweetheart. I know this is a lot. How are you feeling? As far as Mr. Aiken, me and Mr. Aiken, we did establish a relationship. But at times, when Mr. Aiken has things going on in his life, he's in and out, and I don't want in and out. Either you're gonna be there or you're not gonna be there at the end of the day. I... <laughs> you know, um, I have two children of my own. I have a son and I have a daughter. And as a mother, if this happened to my, you know, my son, even though he said, you know, ooh, uh, Mr. Downing says that, um, well, I did not know. As a mother, if I feel like there's a possibility that this could be my grandchild, I'm gonna step up to the plate and I'm gonna do something about it. So I felt like somebody could have said, okay, let's take this child down here and get a, a test done for, you know, this child and see who her father is. Something should have been done about it a long time ago, then we would not have to be here today. I agree with you 100%. I absolutely agree with her. You know, we've talked about this throughout the years and um, um, regardless of what she said recently, we, we, we have a very cordial relationship. We talk. And when we speak, it's, it's, it's no disrespect or none of the things that, that's been insinuated here today, but um, we, we have a very, very decent relationship, I think, I thought anyway. But that doesn't negate the fact, and that's why I wanted... I mean, everybody's talking and we're trying to get to this story, Brittany, but that's why I wanted you to get... have a moment. Because I can see there's so much behind your eyes as you're just listening to all of this. And at 29 years old, to have to stand in this courtroom and still not know which man is your biological father, and to have to listen to these stories, the man you believe to be your biological father, we've now determined is not your biological father. I think it's important that we give your story a voice and you understand, because you represent so many people who stand in this courtroom and have the same issue, you are not alone, and now 
you need to be heard is the bottom line. Because I do think somebody should have done something. And I mean, the man you wanted to be your biological father is not your biological father. Mr. Aiken is certain he is your biological father, but your mother says he is not. Your mother says Mr. Downing is your biological father. Mr. Downing says he thinks he is not. Yes, Your Honor. I think we're ready for the results. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Downing versus Jones, when it comes to 29-year-old Brittany Starks, it has been determined by this court Mr. Aiken, you are not the father. God. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. I'm sorry, Mr. Aiken. I could see how certain you were. You really thought she was your biological child? I did. Brittany, how are you feeling in this moment? I'm so sorry, hon. Um, I'm just, I, I feel relieved. Um, I'm a strong woman. I am very strong. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I just, like um, Mr. Downing said, I just came here for closure. Um, and just to give back to other females that's in the same situation that I'm in and let them know that they can get through this. Mm -hmm. Because I have. Um, I've came a long way um, without knowing who my father um, was at the time. So I just came here for closure. That's why we're here. Because this has been something that's been going on for three years. And because you had the courage to come here today, you can continue on knowing that he is not. I have the results from Mr. Downing. Prior, prior to coming here, we had our, um, Ms. Stark and I had already spoken. I had accepted the fact that, that she was my daughter, that we were going to move forward. She had asked me to come to New York to visit me. She, we had uh, talked about coming to my family reunion. It was yeah. at her request that I came here today. Your oh, Honor. but this, it, it, this is important. Yes, yes. Because even, even if she would have come to the family reunion, the, the, way, you have yes. the way you have testified today, there would have still been doubts. Yes, absolutely. And this is what we're trying to do for this beautiful young woman, is what we try to do for every person that stands in this courtroom, is to allow them to... to have the opportunity to rise above doubt. Yes. Absolutely. No one wants to live with doubt above their head. Yes. And so even with all of that, the family reunion and everything that would have been gone on, there still would have been some doubt. So we have the answer now that will take that doubt away. In the case of Downing versus Jones, when it comes to 29-year-old Brittany Starks, do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Downing, you are not the oh father. God. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. You are not the biological father, sir. Whoa. I'm so sorry, Brittany. I really am. Who else? I don't know. Who's number four? Ms. Jones, we do have to respectfully ask you because so many people have come and really walked through this moment trying to get to a place of closure for this beautiful young woman. Mm -hmm.
Do you recall, do you have any other idea who Brittany's uh, biological father could be? I really thought it was Clint. Uh, I don't know that Clint get somebody to take his DNA test for him or something. Not in this courtroom. <laughs> These results are the results. He is not the biological father. This something you could have did. Okay. Listen. Don't blame her. Listen. Don't blame her. That's not right. 